I recently purchased three vintage sewing machines, but this is my first chance to take a look at them. So let's see what we have. The first is a full size Bentwood case, which isn't in too bad a condition, just a few scratches here and there. It has the original key which works. And opening it reveals a hand cranked Singer 66. It turns smoothly, if a little stiff. I think a good oiling is all this machine needs. The bobbin winder tyre is very loose and will need replacing. The stop motion knob works as it should, which is always a good sign. The decals are in great shape, but there is a little surface rust. Looking at the tension mechanism and the stitch length knob, I can see this is an early 66. Hand crank full size Singer 66 machines are far less common than the hand crank three quarter size Singer 99. Underneath seems pretty clean too. The toolbox reveals an original Singer 66 handbook and a box of Singer 66 accessories, along with a few more Class 66 bobbins. In the accessory box is the usual ruffler, a pin tuck marker, a binding foot, a random needle, an adjustable hemmer, a seam guide, a rolled hem foot, some random pieces that I'm unfamiliar with. If you know what these are, please let me know in the comments. A screwdriver, which I'm pretty sure is not an original Singer screwdriver, and the screw for the seam guide, as well as more needles. So a nice selection of treasures with this machine. A good clean and oil should get this machine like new. The case will need a little more work. Checking the Singer serial number database shows this is a 1932 Class 66K made in the Kilbowie plant on Clydebank in Scotland. Next up is this coffin lid case, which to be frank has seen better days but it's not beyond repair. Inside it reveals to be a Singer 28, with plenty of rust and worn decals. Again, this one is hand cranked. It's very stiff and in desperate need of oiling. The toolbox reveals just a knob, a reel of thread and a couple of buttons, so no real treasure there. Underneath it's pretty clean but bone dry, at least the shuttle is still there. The Singer serial number database shows this to be a 1910-28K, produced in the Kilbowie plant, making this machine 111 years old. Finally, another coffin lid case, which again isn't in the best condition. It's missing its lock and showing some signs of a woodworm. Inside is a Jones Family CS machine, again with a hand crank and again pretty stiff. There is some rust and the decals are pretty poor on this machine. 
These machines were made in Guide Bridge, just outside Manchester, England, so it's pretty local to me. Underneath shows some water damage, but very little rust, and sadly, no shuttle. The decals put this machine at about 1930 to 1936. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, please hit the like button, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of all my future uploads. Thanks for watching.